Heather's been feeding the birds at the house, so there's fucking birds all around her house, and they're shitting on my truck. I'm gonna start shooting birds with a pellet gun. She's gonna be feeding birds. I'm gonna be shooting Don't them. It's be gonna killing be killing them. Yeah. Anti-productive. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put two-stroke gas in them. Originals, we will be installing a 550 cam chest kit and an M8 soft tail from SNS Cycles. Thank you, SNS Cycles, for coming through with all this dope shit. Uh, this is a real big cam. It calls for a lot of compression. I want to be 13 and a half to one. It does look like we're going to get there with the flat top pistons that we have. Probably only going to maybe get 11 and a half, maybe 12. 12 would be dope. More the better. It will make a lot more power, it will run a lot crisper, but mainly when I'm in the pit and the bike's warming up with the tire heaters and the motor's warming up and it's spewing fucking race gas out of the exhaust and it's high compression as fuck just cackling, I really want everybody in all the other pits to be really fucking nervous. <laughs> Hell yeah. So that's really the goal. Anyways, I'm gonna start putting this shit together. I'm gonna clean some shit up real quick. It's all real clean, but I'm gonna spray her with some brake clean, all that good stuff, inspect a couple things. Look at this bad motherfucker, dude. Their SNS oil pumps are the real deal for sure. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put an O-ring in. It's for the oil pump, new freshy, new freshy. Right there, that will hold the oil pump in place for the most part. It'll suck itself up in there. So these kits come with red line assembly lube. Oh, this isn't red line, this is Torco. It's red. Same shit. You know, red's red. It also says to use a whole tube of this shit when you are putting the oil pump together. It helps prime the oil pump when it comes time to do that. There should be an o-ring for this bitch back here. Why is there no fucking o-ring here? Looks like it's fucking recessed for an o-ring, right? O-ring or oil? Definitely should be an O-ring in there, I believe. Hey, what's going on, Ryan? Hey, I got a quick question. Yes, sir. On the back of the oil pumps, don't they, is there, it's recessed for like an O-ring. These take a big O-ring on the back of them? Because the late model stock ones have O-rings, right? Yes, so you got to go to Harley or Comedic or something to get that O-ring seal. And that's what prevents the thumping portion. What years did that start? Because, like, this is an 18. It doesn't have the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It started all in 19, right? So all the 19 models on the M8s and all that stuff have it. So Beautiful. So it, it doesn't let the if you go to up the road to, like, Buddy Stubbs or something. Hopefully they have it in stock and stuff. It, uh, it just lip seal that goes in the back of the oil pump. Well, it's going to be for 19 to 20. Is that what it's called? Oil pump lip seal? Are you looking up? Just look up, like, a 20. Yeah, I'm looking up. Beautiful. All right, we're looking up right now. I figured that's what it was. I just wanted to double check. Yep, yep. Uh, the instructions don't have that anymore because of uh, Harley has a patent on talking about it in instructions, apparently. So we used to actually include it in all our instructions, and then we revised it back in January, end of January, I want to say. Um, oh. And we can't talk. So I in the back the office, like, why the, hey, why the hell did we pull these off? The reason we got them on there, why is it gone? They're like, Harley has a patent on the back plate with the seal and the combo being talked about. Like, if I was at a shop, I could physically talk about it, but I can't say it in writing anymore. Holy so. shit. We're filming and all that shit for Parts department, Red Street. Uh, I got a part number for you. Hope you guys have it in stock. 624-00205. We do not. You don't have it in stock? Oh my god, they don't have one? They don't have it in stock. Harley does not have the... O-rings is that come on guys, this is a common shit. You should have this. I agree with hey, you. I don't make the choice. So stuff that <laughs> I don't make the Oh man. I need a nice hit of quail tits. Quail tits. Get you going. I am looking for the what the fuck is it? The oil pump seal for a nineteen M eight. Buddy Stubbs, Arizona Harley Davidson home right. lifetime powertrain warranty. Okay. Can we direct your call? Uh could you just tear it out of that kit for us? 
Yeah, I'll swing by and pick that Wait, up. Wait, Tony's checking right now. Tell him to hold on. If they got one of Ramjet, they don't got to tear a kid apart, though. Alright, first of all, did, uh, before you tear that kid apart, so, uh, we're checking to see if Ramjet has one. Um, okay, well. Back to Quill Tits. We gotta go get an O ring. Yep. Harley Davidson, so let's go. Well, Buddy Stubbs yes, opened the first dealership in Arizona way back in the day, downtown. He was a professional flat track racer back in the days when flat track was as big as football. He was the G. Started that dealership downtown, then it moved over here, which is now like a church center or some shit now. Then they built this one. Here we go. Walk in the dealership with a giant camera rig, like a couple of buildings. Evil Knievel bike. Also, Buddy Stubbs and Evil Knievel is on tight bikes. There's a whole bunch of Evil Knievel stuff in here. A couple of those bikes. Metal like electric light. You know the one with all the shit all over it? That was his too. I believe it could be wrong. Look at it. This is something all the time. There's some plates right here to use for some advertising. Oh, they're cuddling. Look at this. Get a shot of this shit. It's like a dick. It's like a serpent. It's got a beautiful road king to go for it. It's, it's pretty bike. Yeah. I might have to stay in the garage with the new one. <laughs> get some good money for it. It's a nice motorcycle. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good luck. All right. We got an SNS kit. And they can't sell the seal with it because Harley has a patent on. Combining the two? 624205. Alright. Oh, no, it ain't in there that good, I got Alright, sweet. Alright, good. Fucking pipes. Thank goodness. Exactly. We need you, please. Go back. Y'all collecting that unemployment, sitting on the couch, buying all these motorcycle shit, going, man, this is rabbit. You ain't gonna have no motorcycle shit to buy because nobody's making it anymore. Out. Terrible. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Later on. I uh, got that O-ring thing. It's not really an O-ring. It's more like a beaver lip seal. Two-stroke beaver lip seal? Uh, yep. This is what the uh, beaver lip seal, a two-stroke, the proper two-stroke gas in it, you can uh, pull a lot more compression power power horses out of them than if you don't beaver lip it. Who fucking beaver lipped my oil pump? All right, I'm sliding this bitch in here. My O-ring's already down in there for the little nipply thing. That'll hold her in place. I want a pumper fucking pull loop. Some chiroid gears or chokehorde gears or chokehor gears. I don't remember really what they're called. Something along them lines. I'm sure someone in the comments will. Oh, somebody will correct me. Mm -hmm. Some garage wizard. <laughs> Tell me about how you built a Honda Rebel one time and you're going to correct my fucking terminology. Uh, it's pronounced... What is it? I say dampening, which is not right. It's damp... It's damping. damping. No, it's damping. Oh, damping. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what the f*** it is. Who I really don't a give a shit, yeah. nerd. You know how to pronounce it, but I know how to make it work. I'm going to take the I know how to make it work side of it and run with that. And I'm gonna, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it, dude. I'm not gonna call it dampening anymore. I'm gonna moisten. Uh, the moistening on the suspension is just off right now. So I lubed the shit out of these. I had a customer come in trying to deal with that. I fill all the journals full of oil, uh, assembly lube. It is supposed to help the thing build oil pressure when you go to prime it faster. Which, we're gonna try that out. I already filled the bearing full of assembly lube back there. I'm going to pump some more in it. Just because. Cover this bitch with it. This is for when you start it up and everything's dry. This just helps save 
a little bit of it, you know. It's a big dick swinging cam right there for sure. Cam plate. And just oil all this shit up. Lots of lubricants. Something ain't right. Start putting the cam in. I think it's a fucking. That's a tight one, dude. You gotta put the cam in first. Feels really good once it's in there, but son of a bitch. There it is. Come on back out there. Put some bolts in it and shit. I'm gonna reuse the stock hardware with some of their supplied Loctite, which is nice because Loctite's expensive. Some thick ass blue. Shit's like Elmer's glue. All right, we're just gonna snug these down, not to where they're even touching at all. It goes one, two, three, three. Watch the kids shows anymore? They have kids commercials, mm. all the wild, wacky cereal commercials and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. Count Chocula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is there. I don't have cable anymore. I haven't had cable in fucking 12 years, probably. Uh, very loose. We're going to roll this bitch around a little bit. So, according to SNS. Put these bolts in, finger tight them, and you put these bolts in, finger tight, and you torque the outside bolts on the cam plate to 120 inch pounds. Then you spin the motor two times, full rotations. This that guy's up on top, full rotations, and then you torque these to 120 inch pounds, which is way different than any of the old school stuff. You used to have to torque these to 40, put alignment dowels in, spend a bunch of times, torque them to 45 inch pounds. Spin a bunch of times and torque them again, spin a bunch of times, and do a bunch of bullshit. This is fast and easy. I did put these in, snug it up, and I rotated it twice before I put these in just to kind of center the oil pump on its own. And I'm also going to do it again. Now that I have these started, I'm just going to over align this bitch. So why not? I'm not even gonna fucking bottom these out or anything. They're just in here. Alright. Torque the cam plate to 120. They're even numbered. One. There's one. Two. Three. How fucking easier could this be? Anyone could just simply do this at home. No, you can't. Don't think you can. You can't. If you're not a goddamn professional mechanic, don't try and build a fucking motor on your own at your house. Hundred and twenty inch pounds, and that's that. Next we'll put on the these are also labeled too, A B C D. Goes in alphabetical order. took a lunch break. I'm back from lunch. I bit a hole through my cheek the size of that meteor crater that we stopped at on the way home from New Mexico. It hurts. Uh, I also made this fancy little tool. Look at how fancy this is. So I can torque these 
lots of cam plates and which you know you can buy a nice tool for this but I didn't have time to buy that shit because the twin cam one I have doesn't quite work out but I made this thing out of just a piece of Delrin and a bandsaw and a beaver smith and I just hacked it up real real fast come on bitch get in there uh oh maybe it only, work, it only goes one way mmm groove I dug in it. <laughs> it's one time use only, basically. Yeah, I'll be throwing that away. So yeah, that thing sucks. <clears throat> so torque these down to 14, uh, 14 foot pounds with a stock cam spacer, cam gear spacer that comes with this. And then we're gonna take some measurements. This should be nine thousandths or less. I'm gonna go straight for nine. Because if I know I don't clear nine, I'm if you don't clear nine, you're doing fine. Oh Jesus. I just kinda wanna give that a little push too, make sure she's where she should be. Well, that sucks. So nine don't fit, now I'm gonna measure and see what it is, and then do a little math deduction from there. Don't know. <clears throat> I need about fourteen thousand, so I need about Five thousandths on this bitch, and we'll be set. That's a 100, so I need like a 105. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna stop and get some uh, cam shims because the one that we have was off a bit, which they're also hard to get right now. I could only get a one. I need a 105 or a 108. 110 will get me. 110 is the only thing in the town. So I got one. Why I was doing that? Rob from SNS Cycle stopped by. How convenient could this be? We're working on a whole SNS motor build. Now we got Rob here to throw down a bunch of knowledge and really kind of tell us what's up. Well, Ryan, thanks for the invite and everything. Um, big part of your engine, especially on these Milwaukee 8s, is the cam plate and the oil pump. Mostly the oil pump itself, right? So it is a single piece billet, all made up. Uh, three piece G rotor. So a lot of people don't know the difference between ours and uh, some of our competition that's out there. G-rotor is such a better word for the gyroid or choke, <laughs> yeah. choke board gears. Yeah. Well, we uh, use the term G-rotor because it's a little bit easier to kind of use sometimes, yes, right? Yeah, so use that from here on out. Yep. <laughs> so a couple things we end up doing differently than uh, most people, like I said, is we do three G-rotors for each of it. So uh, just a couple little things is we do a 48% uh, increase on the feed side with uh or so supply side and some people and then a 54 percent increase on the scavenging side which we have two g rotors that work independently so one for your flywheel cavity and one for your cam chest cavity so the harley one only has two two gears right correct the harley one does only have two so you have two scavenging is that what it is correct so we're working separately and like i said independently it's almost like hey i'm gonna be able to bring that oil back to the pan uh oil tank a little bit quicker better to be able to run cooler when i pulled the stock cam plate and oil pump off over a quart of oil came out of the bottom end. These things, that's especially the 18s, the early ones. The scavenging, getting the oil out of the case is the biggest problem. This is a very nice piece. What, do you, what can you tell me about the cam? We're running 550s in this. 550 is, can't run stock valve springs the 550, right? Correct, you're gonna be upgrading valve springs so heads will be coming off for you to do that. Do I got clearance cases at all? Uh, no, it'll, it'll work just fine with the cases that you currently have, so you'll be Beautiful. good. I spun it in there and spun it around and then just thought to myself, I should have looked to make sure it was clear everywhere. That's a pretty big <laughs> no, cam. You're, you're pretty good with that. Uh, we actually even produce a 590 cam that you don't really? even have to clear for it. You just need to roll a rockers There's with that. There's a 590 out there? There is a 590 out there now. Uh, a couple months ago we released it once we released the 131 what, and all that. So that's, that's like a big motor cam. That is a big motor cam. You have to have, what's, what's compression on the 131s? Uh, even, uh, well, even with our 124, 128, 131 kits, uh, we dish our pistons a little bit so we could actually still keep everything at uh, um, the top end portion of it, which is 11.1-1 compression for everything. So okay. it's a lot higher on these. Pulling 11 to 1 on a twin cam is that's some compression for sure. Uh, what's the retail on these things? Um, depending on if we're doing cylinder and piston kit and everything, we're just shy of $1,200 just in for cylinder the 124 and piston. For the 124, 128, and all that stuff. That bolt that bolts in 124. This is a 107 for 1,200 bucks. You can buy that kit. It's gonna be more in labor, but. And that ship bolts right in. Before you twin cam, you had to bore the cases. You had to do a ton of work. Like, if you're going to build a 124 out of your 88 inch, you're going to spend 10 grand. Now you can 
I mean, like, probably 3500 bucks out the door with labor. And, and yeah, a little bit. I mean, that's just cylinders and piss and drains. Once we do the cam plate oil pump and all that stuff, you're, you're right around that three grand range for everything, which is the way you're going to want to do it. At 11 to 1 compression, yeah. you can't have a stock cam in that application. No, right? this We're gonna kid run, just run came in here with a 131. He would put on the top end of his lowrider S with stock cam. Oof. Oof is right. <laughs> so, I mean, realistically, with these and all this S&S stuff, you can make a shitload of power. You can. For not that much money. Nope. Um, like you said, it's best bang for your buck. These Milwaukee 8s run pretty pretty damn good once you actually just throw a cam in there. But there's so many big board kits out there now that we produce that yeah. everyone's been pretty excited about it. You said, well, you the said 128 go price. on this motor as well, or is that the, for the 114? Uh, so, okay. The 107, so it's stock 4 and 3 8 stroke flywheels become 124s. Mm -hmm. uh, as a reminder, some of those 17 and 18 model bikes, if you buy one used or anything and they sell it to you as a 114, more than likely so is a 114, but it probably started life as a 107. So it doesn't have a stroker. So it doesn't have the stroker. It was done by four at that point. Uh -huh. um, these new 114s that come from the factory come with a four and a half inch stroke flywheel. At that point, we could become a 128. So make sure well, yeah. which application you have. 131 itself, you will be cracking cases for that to run a four and five eight stroke flywheel in there as we mm. do that one by stroke. Really? So yeah. Harley's is all bore, right? They're Correct. 131? Mm -hmm. Or are they, are they just dropping a whole motor in? No, is that their stage uh, home, four? Home mo motor, but as well as, uh, it's mostly done by bore anyways. Really? I think about 4,500 bucks, you could be in a 140 horse-ish. Yep. Air Cruzy Originals. I mean, that's it. I'm gonna get back to work. Rob's cool. get back to hustling. Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks again for the time, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Yeah. Love the love all the knowledge and information and and fuck yeah. SNS Cycles. SNSCycles.com. It's also all available on Cruzy Originals, CruzyOriginals.com, and right here in the shop. If it's not on the website, call us. Trent will take care of you. He's friendly. Anyways, moving on. I got a new shim for this. So this guy was out by like fourteen thousandths, needed to be nine or less. And uh, I had a hundred shim in there, hundred thousandths, changed her to a Shit, I need to clean these. I changed it to a 10, a 110, which brought me out. Measuring on these gears is a bit of a bitch. I can't read that shit very well. What's that say, 18? Oh, you need to clean your tools, bud. You're fucking old, bud. <laughs> okay, I don't have 9,000s. I'm done with that shit. So now I'm going to take these off. I'm going to put all the shit on. Got my cam chain the exact same direction that it was before. Make sure you do that. Top gear. It's got a little dot on it. See that little dot? Dot. And pinion shaft gear. has got a little dot. It's real easy. Line up the dots. How does that look lined up? That looks off. Yep, I'm off a tooth. Give a little squeeze. Boom. Perfect. Dots on dots. Move this guy straight up and down. Get a nice little flush table. Girls on film. Camel clock to that, right? Why? Bada bing, bada boom. Now, 35 foot pounds, 22 foot pounds. 35, 22. Works real good. Actually, takes almost no pressure to lock those things. Just put this between the teeth. You don't necessarily have to have all that fancy shit all the time. This guy. Almost got a lot of torque put on it, didn't she? <laughs> Dialed. Get a ready. Nice hydraulic chain tensioner from SNS. Let her sit there. Chain will hold that guy in. The lock tip. This guy's going to have to come up and into the notch. These guys torque to 120 inch pounds. You know, it used to be when a man said performance and a man said Harley Davidson, they weren't in the same conversation. But now, they are from time to time.
got S and S lifters. So you got to pump these things up. There's several ways of doing it. This is, I don't know, an easy way of doing it. It's not really the way I normally do it, but I had time. If you soak these in oil, he's been soaking for like two days. So they're definitely full of oil. You just soak them in oil and let them fill up. Or it's a little hole. I have a syringe that goes in there and you, and you just squeeze them full of oil until the shit comes out of the top. But these things are, they're full. They've been in there for days. something to know there too if you're putting a 124 kit on can't pull that back lifter out without having the cylinder off these are the lifter retainers these are the SNS billet lifter retainers compared to the stock Harley Davidson plastic did you see these Bullsh bullshit good shit they're labeled front and rear, so put a little red Loctite on these guys. Slide them over the doodads here. Need a two thousandths feeler gauge. So, feeler gauge installed, hundred inch pounds. Okay, I'm gonna do the rear one real quick, like two thousandths feeler gauge. Give me a motor rotation. Everything feels smooth. Beautiful. Crank one more time, bring me up top dead center. 